Good evening, it's day two of my 31 day challenge. I just opened up Unity and looking at my last attempt at creating a terrain and how ugly it is, I decided to do a change of scenery. This video I'm going to be working in a tropical setting. So I downloaded the Polygon Pirate Model Asset Pack from Cincy Studios and so I'm going to be using some of their assets that they've included in the Pirate Pack. I also have some background music from GW Studio, um, which is a musician who has a wide variety of soundtracks that you can include in your game. So if you like this one, it's it's the Pirate Pack. I'll include a link in the description. So with that being said, I think I'm ready to get started. So let's get started. So one of the very first things I need to do is actually create a new scene. That's the first thing I need to do. Easy enough. And I'm going to create my new Griffin Stylized Wizard. Same settings as yesterday. Maybe that's a mistake. I'm going to start there. So create my terrain. And somewhere here is the sample groups. So this is what I'm going to replace with from with stuff from Cincy Studio. So let's go ahead and do a tree prototype group. That's the tree icon. Okay, so custom trees. Drop a game object here. Okay, so now I can import the prefab models for the environments. So I got some palm brushes, palm trees, and some plants. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. Quite a few more plants than what came out of the box. Okay, so after I had imported some of the assets from the S, uh, model pack from Cincy Studios, I started setting up my custom groupings of trees, foliage, splats, and props. And then I wanted to start by creating kind of a base island using a huge radius on one of the brushes and then kind of sculpting around the whole island, smoothing it out, subdividing it, uh, trying to create some nice beaches, and then more inland I actually created a little pond of sorts and a little lagoon. So then there were also a couple spots on the outskirts I wanted to raise up a little bit to look like, you know, rocks jetting up out of the ocean. I found that neat little linear tool that really allowed me to fine tune how much of the sculpting I'm actually doing. That's a, a tool I just found tonight. I did you know existed previously. And after I, I was pretty happy with the shape of the island, I decided to start painting in some of the grass and other textures, uh, sand with you know, little pebbles, some rocky cliff terrain. I needed to modify the tiling sizes of the textures. And then being that it was an island, it of course had to be surrounded by some water. Uh, it took me a couple of attempts because I, I had two types of water. I had Cindy Studios water and then I also had the standard assets water. And I, I didn't want the standard assets. I wanted similar style to the rest of the art I was using so I wanted to use Cindy Studios. So I quickly duplicated the water tiles numerous times to, to cover up all of the land. And then I wanted to plant some foliage around the island, so palm trees, uh, some bushes, and other types of plants. And just like last night, I also wanted to bake my lighting and add some fog. Uh, this is good for performance, but also uh, in the light settings, there's an option called bounces, and that's kind of the reflection that the 
light will bounce off and kind of soft shade some of the darker areas of the map, when it, especially when there's only one light source. So I'm just using one dynamic light. So there are also a few other props that I brought in from Cincy Studios. Some rocks, some cliffs, and then this really cool skull rock formation. Okay, so what I've got here is the completed level 2 terrain. Uh, as you can see, I've got the foliage, some water, some nice plants, uh, some different textures than what I was using yesterday, including this nice little skull rock formation that's pretty cool. Um, if I kind of go out, you get an idea of the scale of how big this island is including a little tear in the water, but that's all right. But yeah, I've got water uh, circling, encircling the island, if I can talk. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. It, it looks a lot better than the one I created yesterday. I found a couple new tools, and I, I, I had a feeling that using um, you know art that just wasn't natively included with the terrain tool would look a little bit better and, and it does so this is day two of my 31 day challenge i'll be back again tomorrow if you like this video hit like and subscribe and i'll see you guys later thanks for watching